little timbering, huh? So we've come to a junction here. We can continue pretty much level by stepping across here, or there's a tunnel that goes down here at an incline, but it looks like that's a dead end down there. It might go off to the right, but we're going to take the easy route where Mad Lad is. Easy! <laughs> okay, so we made it across that little gap there, and this is kind of interesting. Right here is a blocked off opening into the stope with a timber, and they wrote the word timbers on it. That's kind of cool. But we're going to continue down this drift tunnel this way. So yeah, these were uh, gold mines. I think I might have mentioned that earlier. Oh, here you can see remnants of war cart tracks. There's the cross ties. Well, there's at least one there. So yeah, this mine is basically kind of like Swiss cheese. It's there's not really like levels in most mines. This is just like a bunch of stopes with interconnected tunnels and inclined passageways going up and down to other areas and other stopes. That's why we call it Swiss cheese, because that's what it resembles. This tunnel is only about five feet high, so got to kind of stoop here a little bit. So here's the junction. But that's a dead end. So we'll keep going this way. So we got the homemade ore cart tracks again. And the tunnel's continuing here. Just seems to keep going and going. some timbers here that say danger. Danger. Keep out. Well, we're going to go in. There's Tom and Julie up there. So, okay, this is getting really, this is only about four feet tall. Yeah, I've got to stoop through here. That's pretty cool. Tom said there's some old newspapers here. Oh yeah. All the old newspapers we've seen, the font is always very tiny like that. I guess back when they made newspapers in the early 1900s, maybe ink was expensive. So they had to make the font as small as possible in order to save on the ink. But uh that's where we just came from. More old papers down there. And we'll continue uh, this way. Not a lot of clearance here. Probably five and a, five and a half feet tall. Keep hitting my head. That's two times in a row just now. Very hard to film and walk crouched over in these tunnels and not stumble on the rubble that's on the floor. Here's a nice little timbered section. This right here says fracture zone. Sounds kind of ominous, doesn't it? So, yeah, you can sort of see there's a fracture right in the center there. And it looks fractured on the sides too. Maybe, maybe that's what they were talking about.
So we're coming down this inclined tunnel and it bottoms out right here. So at the bottom here, there's a four-way intersection, but the tunnel to the right is a dead end. The tunnel straight ahead is a dead end. So we're gonna go here to the left where Tom's headed. So the tunnel's making a downward left-hand turn down there to where Tom is. There's some timbering. Okay, so we just came down through that inclined kind of like a little maze and we drop down into this tunnel which continues that way and we're not sure what happens this way but Tom said he recognizes where we are now based on when he was here previously he's at some kind of a ladder system or something so let's go check it out so here's a ladder system that we don't know where it goes Tom went down there once before but didn't explore the tunnel so we don't know where it goes but there's two ladders that look pretty halfway decent, so we're deciding whether or not to go down these into the tunnel beyond. One ladder. And one more to go. It looks like somebody has fixed this since I've been here last. That's good. Yeah, those are decent. So based on the map we have, we believe this takes us to the portal. That must go back up to where we were. It doesn't? Or it might not, but... It did go back to Jay? It looks like it would. Yeah. So we'll keep one straight here. get a shot on that Oh. So yeah, based on the map, here's the other upward tunnel that goes up to level J. It's got a ladder. And that's just a dead end alcove right there. It really helps when you have a map of the mines workings because uh, then you can sort of figure out where you are instead of just going in blind and trying to figure it out as you go. an ore cart track. And it kind of goes down here a little bit. Low clearance here. Keep it in my head. Okay, we just came through there and we're headed, I think I see daylight coming in from the right. So I think we found another exit. So we went in by one way and came out another. That's kind of rare when you're exploring abandoned mines to go in one way and come out another. But there's the portal, so. Quite an unusual mine. <laughs> 